¿Qué pasa, amigos? What's up, amigos? And welcome back to the Sancha and Sancho podcast. My name is Anthony. I'm one of the hosts of the show. And to my left... It is Cindy. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. Like always, I hope you guys hit that like and that subscribe and that share button. And make sure you hit that little bell over there to get notifications every time we drop a new podcast like this one. One of the best ways that you guys can support this podcast is go check out our sponsors. Mm -hmm. We are specifically brought to you by Submission Nutrition. We're also brought to you by The Farm Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And of course, Legendary Car Care. So go check them out. We'll leave the link in the description down below. And also go check out our website. We're almost completely sold out of the long sleeve tees. Uh, uh, go check them out. One of the best ways to support us. Yes. So. Well, let's get right to it. All right. Well, hello, hello. It's been a while. I feel like it's been a minute here. But I was going to say giddy up because... It's been a it's been a kind of a crazy week, I feel like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it feels good to be back. Of course. I mean, we were sick. Yes. So, uh, I know we got sick. I had to take a little bit of a break there. And I think it's funny though cuz I feel like sometimes when you're out in public, even when like you're just not sick and you have to just like cough or something, you know, you got a little water. You can't. <laughs> down your throat and you're like, yeah. "Oh, snap." Yeah, you can't even cough in public anymore. It's just kind of weird. You're just like looking around. Shameful. <laughs> Get embarrassed. You can't even sniff. Sneeze. Can't do any of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird. You know. You get sick and you just always worry that you got COVID. Mm-hmm. I know. Why is that like the first instinct now? I don't know. Like the, That's the first thing that kind of... Even with my job. Isn't it crazy how they are, or that Biden is now going to have everybody get the COVID shot? It is pretty crazy, yeah. It is pretty crazy. It is pretty wild. I'm not like anti-vax or anything, but it's just kind of crazy that to like to be forced. I think that's the only thing that just makes it weird, but yeah, other than that, I mean, it's kind of, I mean, makes sense to get a vaccine. I get that. But it's still kind of strange. I mean, it's definitely like a different time now i feel like yeah i mean i guess if i would have joined the military when you get like 10 shots and i don't i don't really think they tell you what's in it you know wow you kind of just get the shots and just go with the flow yeah so i don't know there's definitely i feel like a lot of different perspectives to that i don't know i know i just don't really know how to feel about that yeah but (coughs) either way i mean it's pretty crazy yeah we definitely got sick there for a couple like of a days, while. actually. Yeah, yeah. I felt like a week. Yeah. A good solid week. But what's nice, though, is that, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it is kind of strange to think, like, oh, you know, if you go to the doctors, they're going to tell you if it's COVID when maybe it's a, just like a regular flu. You just have like a cold. Yeah. A good little cold. It's kind of strange with the timing. It. Kids just started going back to school, you know? Do you think. I think it's from kids going back to school. I don't know. Maybe it's it's just like probably the time of year or something. Season. I mean, we always definitely get sick every year. I thought it was like allergies too, but then also it's like the fires, the air quality here is horrible right now. So I wonder if that's kind of messing with us too. So I don't know. I feel good now. So I'm glad to be back. Mm -hmm. I'm actually glad to be back into Colorado. You know, we had a big little trip over the weekend. Mm Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that was pretty fun. Yeah, we went to Texas. It was awesome. I'm like, as you can tell for anybody watching. Oh, yeah, I'm already, <laughs> <laughs> I'm already rocking a Houston shirt. I did not have a good time, if you can't tell. <laughs> I hated it there. No. I feel like it's hard not to get, like, a souvenir. Yeah, you know? It, I don't really, I'm not, like, a big, I don't want to get everybody in my family a souvenir. I feel like that can definitely become a little bit expensive over time i just don't get it (laughs) to me that doesn't make sense i don't care if somebody else went somewhere if you you go to new york and you bring me back a shirt that says new i didn't go to new york why am i gonna want to wear a freaking new york (laughs) shirt man but don't you think it's more about like the thought yeah like they thought about you while they were in new york (laughs) don't you should be thinking about yourself enjoy the moment 
Enjoy your vacation. Spend the money on yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, buy yourself a yeah. coffee. Don't feel guilty about it. I mean, that's so true. I feel like you don't a need lot to of buy times, me a damn T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a lot of times, like you just don't really give yourself the props, like just like the yeah, enjoy it. Yeah, like yeah, I deserve this. Yeah. I don't know. I never really understood that thing, that 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 sort of gift. <laughs> So I buy myself something. Yeah, I bought myself a T-shirt. <laughs> Feels good. Yeah, it was actually pretty cool. Um, that was like our first time, what, visiting? Well, uh, we actually, we went to Dallas. Yeah, well, I've never really, that was our first time on the east side of Texas. We've been to El Paso before. Right. Um, completely different. Completely different. But yeah, well, this time we flew into Dallas, mm-hmm. um, which was kind of cool. We we went down and we saw the uh, the JFK memorial site. Yeah. Um, that was pretty interesting. The first thing that I noticed, especially being from Colorado, and I feel like it still kind of throws me off thinking about it. We got there and we're reading the sign, <laughs> and on the sign it's like, "JFK was shot from oh. this floor from this building, two hundred yards west from this sign." Oh, we're like, oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> like west. Wait, I was like, west. Rick, I have no idea which way west. Do we is. have a campus? A compass? I'm like, where's the mountains? <laughs> It was weird. Yeah, definitely very flat. Like, you could not see any mountains or anything like that. So it definitely was yeah, different. Yeah, we didn't have anything to reference. And I didn't really want to watch the sun <laughs> figure it out. So, yeah, it was kind of, <laughs> it took us a while to figure out. But, uh, Dal- yeah, Dallas just seems like it's just a big town. It's kind of like Denver. Yeah. Or not big town, big city. Yeah, it was pretty It was pretty hot. It was hot, yeah. Real, <laughs> real humid in, in Dallas, for sure. You can tell right away as soon as you get to the airport. Literally, as soon as like you get as off the plane. Like, as soon as we landed. Yeah, as soon as you get off the plane, you can just feel it, like, on your hands. I feel like that. I feel like that's really interesting, because sometimes you don't realize that when or wherever, like, you're from, and you go to a different place, and you're like, wow, I definitely feel, like, the difference here. Yeah. Yeah, it's really dry. Really dry here in Colorado. You can definitely tell. Like, my lips are super chapped all the time, <laughs> I feel like. I was actually, <laughs> I was laughing about this, because, um... You know, here, I feel like since it is so dry and stuff like that, like, I feel like when it comes down to, like, skin routine, like, I do so (laughs) many different things. Like, and I, like, I I feel like I just, like, layer on (laughs) everything, okay? (laughs) I feel like I just, like, layer on a bunch of things, like, on my face, like, you know, my morning routines and stuff like that, my oils, my freaking sunscreen, lotion, you know, all these things, because, like, my face just gets really dry out here. And... I was doing that exact same, like, uh, routine yeah. out there in Texas. And, yeah, I definitely felt the difference. I'm like, whoa, I, I don't need <laughs> all of these different layers of oils, yeah. I guess. I have to put face <laughs> lotion on out here. I think my face gets really dry. I didn't even take it. Yeah, I kind of liked it, though, because it's like you could be yeah. more free. You could just. Yeah. Uh, You're just not dry. Yeah. I didn't. I guess I just never, I got comfortable with it, like, being dry here, you know? I just, honestly, I just I mean, never you really get thought used about to it. it. Yeah. You know? And the sun, too, I feel like it burns here. Oh, yeah. Like, if you're outside, like, it hurts, it burns you. Like You, need, you can you definitely need tell that here we're just so much more higher up. Something. And then when we were in Texas, like, everything seemed, like, the sky seemed further away. <laughs> yeah, it did feel weird. It, it feels like you're at sea level. Yes. It's kind of, it feels kind of weird if you think about it that way. Gosh, and it's so crazy. So we went to, we went to Dallas. That was pretty cool. Is that where we, we had the tacos? Was that in Dallas? No, 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 no. You're getting ahead of yourself. So then we drove down to Waco. Okay. Oh, I know what taco, oh wait, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, yeah. That was in, um, so we went to Waco, saw the uh, Magnolia shop thing out there. Yeah, the little shopping complex. That was cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool to see. <laughs> if you're going to go to Waco, it kind of seems like the only thing. I was curious because do you remember the the TV show? Did we watch that? Did yeah. you watch it with me? Off of uh, like HGTV, little, right? Like, no, the no, 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 no. The other one. It was like about the cult that happened in Waco. What? Yeah, the guy that started the cult in Waco and like, I don't really want to go into it too much, but basically he starts like this cult. It sounds really bad. He starts this cult, right? And the government kind of freaks out about it. And they go in and the government kind of, like, they kind of go in and they, like, raid it. They raid his. Like, like his home? Uh, 
What did they raid? It's like the whole complex. Their cult was like in a little complex, like their little kind of like a little neighborhood, little little area in Texas in Waco. And they were kind of doing their own thing and kind of the surrounding people kind of freaked out about it. Like, oh, what are they doing? They're like not doing good things over there, basically. And then the government got involved. There's what? a series on it, yeah. Yeah, we should finish. I think it's on Netflix. But that's kind of why I was curious. I didn't know anything about that Magnolia place. Oh. Really? Yeah, that was all you. <laughs> but, I mean, good call. Because yeah. otherwise, if it wasn't for that, I would have not had good thoughts about Waco. <laughs> <laughs> definitely is um i mean it's just a countryside yeah for sure mm-hmm. for sure but that was cool that was a cool little spot yeah it was and then we drove down to austin yeah that was pretty cool yeah i really like austin austin's feel, massive you know what's so crazy i feel like it was actually it felt like if we were in colorado in a way it did yeah i was trying to explain that to my mom it just felt like and it, it seems odd to say it but it, it felt very similar yeah. To hear. But I don't know if it's like maybe like the signs, like, you know how like the signs here, they're like just green signs. Right. Like it's Is all it the like same. that all, all across? I don't, I don't even yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's everywhere. <laughs> okay. Well, and I think, I think part of it too was because we kept seeing like Colorado signs, like the Colorado river, which right. was really cool. That is kind of weird like, to whoa, think about. Like Colorado what? river goes all the way through there. Yeah. I don't know. It does feel very similar. I mean, obviously other than like the humidness and like it's more green. Yeah, it definitely re- is really green out and there. It is, it's just, like, strange to, like, look around and not see the mountains. Yeah. But it does feel, feel lost, similar. though. Yeah. <laughs> it is, yeah. That, I uh, I don't like that. I guess yeah. growing up around the mountains kind of screwed us on that. We don't know directions. Other than the mountains. We need the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad. Oh, gosh. But, yeah, that Austin was, was cool, right? Yeah, could, that was pretty cool. And that's where we had the tacos? Yeah, we had some really good tacos there. They had, um, yeah, like a chicken waffle taco or something. Oh, yeah, that, it was a chicken and waffle taco. The taco was in like a waffle tortilla, but it wasn't a tortilla. It was a waffle, but like flat. It was yeah. really good. I liked it. Yeah, when you realize that there is like a culture shock when you experience something like that, what's so crazy was just... <laughs> We were standing in line. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> yeah, we were standing in line, right? So we go to this taco place, and it was cool. Like, I have a, a really big place in my heart for California. I don't know. Like, every time I go there, just I love it. The food's yeah, amazing. The, the vibes. Food. The vibes are way different than it is here. Kind of a younger crowd. I like it, you know? Like, it feels like I fit in a little bit more. And it's kind of similar there in Austin. Like, So we were kind of getting the same vibes in this restaurant. It was, like, I was like a good combination to say to explain Austin. It would be like Colorado with like a splash of California yeah. touch. <laughs> it's kind of like Boulder vibes, kind of. Definitely not. You could definitely tell you're not in Colorado. But very similar. I don't know, it's hard to explain. But we're standing in line at this taco place, right? And <laughs> uh, you just had to wash your hands. Yeah, I just had to, like, wash my hands, you know, because we were just, like, driving around with those, like, scooter things that you can oh, rent out. Yeah. The, is it the called, is it called, like, Bird or something? The Bird scooters. Right? The, bird the, scooters. the Lime scooters. I think they were the Lime scooters. Yeah. Same thing. And, you know, we were about to eat and stuff like that, so I'm like, okay, Some I'm going to wash my hands. That, right? yeah. Um, But then, like, the doors were locked, so I was like, oh, crap, like, we probably, like, have to have, like, some code or whatever. So I went in, you know, tried to open it, and it's locked. I'm like, oh, dang it get back in line and then i see somebody go into the bathroom i'm like oh like let me try to catch it you know (laughs) i'm like i just have to wash my hands here (laughs) and and i missed it so i was like oh dang it and i don't know if like there was like a couple like watching me or something like that they're like oh like and they yelled out the code they're like oh it's uh you know one two three four or whatever right one two three four yeah yeah um but then the person that actually went inside noticed that I was trying to get inside too so they actually like turned around and then like stopped and then opened the door and I was like oh okay yeah cool thanks um you know so I'm just like you know following them in and I slowly started realizing (laughs) that we started walking into this exact same place where the bathrooms are at and everything I'm like wait what the am I in the men's bathroom right now what's going on here (laughs) And I just, like, start, like, slowly looking around, but, like, kind of confused. And I just see, like, the guy that was in front of me that let me in. 
I just see him go into his stall and he's just like slowly <laughs> closing the door. Just like awkwardly watching you. <laughs> yeah. Aw- awkwardly watching you be awkward. Yeah, I was probably looking kind of crazy because I was just like looking around like hella confused. I'm like, wait, what's going on right <laughs> now? Like, am I in the wrong bathroom? He's just like, why is she scared? <laughs> so he's like closing the door and I'm like, okay. I just start seeing like some signs and it just says restroom. And there's like stalls and every single thing. And it's like closed out. So it's like you can't look over or nothing like that or underneath. It's like just stalls pretty much, right? And they just have restrooms. And then they have like just like a sink. And it's supposed to be like just a bathroom that you go in. and It's just unisex bathroom. Yeah, it's a unisex bathroom. And so I, I realized that. And I definitely have not experienced anything like that. Because, I mean, it's they don't right. have anything like that here. So I was like... I was just so confused. Like, I didn't know if I was just in the wrong, like, <laughs> men's bathroom or something, you know? And yeah, I was like, oh, my out gosh. <laughs> you came out back in line. You were just like, I don't know what the hell just happened. You're all freaked out. <laughs> yeah. That is pretty weird, honestly. Well, it's not, like, super weird. I get it. Like, it makes sense. The whole, like, I mean, if it's a restaurant, you but got then one is bathroom. It like, is it kind of, it could it be kind of scary, though, at the same time? Yeah, I can see how it's different. It's it's completely different. And I'm like, and that's when you have to go to the farm, BJJ, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to yeah. get your jiu-jitsu on. Mall, and you don't have to worry weird, about that. <laughs> speaking of weird, speaking of different, yeah. Hopefully I see you guys at class Monday morning, 6 a.m. at the farm. Uh, <laughs> www.thefarmbjj.com. Check them out. I never, yeah. Great tacos, by the way. Yes. Bomb tacos. So. I feel like food sometimes can't really disappoint, especially if you're going to like somewhere else that have like oh my god the best in that town. You know what I mean? I'm such a fat guy at heart. I swear, <laughs> I just love food, man. Like I'm such a foodie. Food is pretty good. I love, it. especially when you're traveling. You, you just like like I'm not really. I understand like when you go to a, when you travel and you're trying to save money and you want to eat breakfast at the hotel, but it's like there's something about like for me. If you're traveling somewhere that you've never been before, like, why are you eating at the hotel? Like, go out and, like, eat somewhere at, like, a restaurant somewhere, like, in the city or, like, some cool little dive or some popular little spot. Like, I feel like then you get to learn about the city, you know? You get to see the people that live in the city, like, the kind of crowd that's there. And I feel like that's how you catch the vibes, you know? Yeah. So, it was really cool. I loved Austin, man. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was very, it felt similar. Yeah. It looked similar, but I've never familiar, been there before. Right. Yeah. So we stayed the night there that first night, right? And then we woke up. And then we ended up going. Um, we found out that the hotel that we were staying at was, like, literally three, four minutes away from. Downtown. From, uh, well, yeah, from downtown and from the uh, the 10th Planet. Oh. The 10th Planet Austin. So that was pretty cool. So we went down there, kind of checked it out. We ended up seeing a guy outside. He kind of introduced us to everybody basically walked us in showed us the gym it was pretty cool very interesting on it was across the street i thought that was kind of cool too and it's all like right down the street from where we were staying we were like yo where's joe rogan though (laughs) i know know, yeah it's crazy that he lives out there yeah that is pretty crazy imagine just like running into him it would be pretty wild that would be very wild Mm -hmm. what would you do you know, there's a part of me that would want to really freak out. But, <laughs> but then, then you got to keep it like, cool. Yeah, you just got to be, you just gotta be like, normal. <laughs> yeah, he's just another person. So you just got to be like, what's up, man? Because obviously he knows. Obviously, right? Come right. On. Come on. <laughs> it's like yeah, he knows that yeah. you're obviously going up to him because, you right. know, he's Joe Rogan. You're just like, who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> just fucking pulling McGregor, huh? <laughs> Everybody's all taking pictures. You're like, I don't even know who you are, bro. What's your name? I'm sorry. <laughs> I just see everybody taking pictures, so I'm just over here taking pictures. He's like, pictures. I just wanted to see what the hype was. Oh, yes. <laughs> that actually happened one time here in Greeley, Colorado, <laughs> you know? At the mall, there is a, um, there is a novella cast that came to town, and let me tell you. It was popping? That night, Greeley was popping. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I can imagine. They came here in person. If you guys know, you know. If you know, you know. But it was it was pretty crazy to see that. I've seen uh 
what's that name? Uh, Angelina from uh, Jersey Shore. Oh, <laughs> she came to Greeley one time. We uh we got pictures with her at the uh, I think it was Sky Nightclub at the time. I think that's what it was called. It's right like over there by the Moxie. Uh, push this, up chapstick. <laughs> this pumps push ups chapstick. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Good times. That was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, she was incredibly short. Wow. With heels on. Here to she came here to Greeley. I know. Wow. I know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I yeah, sorry. I don't really don't mean to rag on Greeley. I love it here. I grew up here, man. I home. know. I, you know what though? Like, I feel like that's the thing. There's so much potential here, honestly. There is. Like, it's, it's so, so young. young. <laughs> Jinx yo <yomyo> soda. <laughs> it is though. It's so young. It's it's not there yet. It's growing. It's gonna get there. I mm-hmm. believe it. Um, I feel like the, our generation's gonna make it happen. Oh yeah, I, for I sure. It. Like it's, it's we are happen. the future. You know what I mean? Like, like really, is still so young, but we're still like growing slowly. Like, there's so many apartments and I like mean, so much like construction s- going on around here. You really see it when we go to other cities like that. When we go to Cali or when we go to places like Austin or or any of those bigger cities like that, you can tell like we're next. Like this is it's gonna be there. Like we're 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 growing. We're getting newer ideas, newer restaurants, cooler little shopping areas like it's starting to be a lot more attractive you know it's not so like old Mm -hmm. it's not even really old here you know it's just not like yeah but i feel like at the same time like it's kind of sad to see some like stores like shut down that have been there like for years i know like the greeley mall yeah like the greeley mall like i feel like that's just slowly like deteriorating like or that, whatever though? you like, call it i think it's like that everywhere though i think just malls in general i think they're just dying like i think it's just not a good do you really think that's like probably just well, e-commerce kind of taking over or what do you think that is i think it's a little bit of e-commerce and i also think it's like we're pretty lazy you know what i mean <laughs> if you if you want to go to so bad if you want to go to victoria's secret but you don't want to walk a quarter mile into the mall to go to victoria's secret when you can just Literally, like the one in Loveland, you can just drive up and park outside, walk right in. But then there's times where you just like kind of want to go out and do something. Yeah. Well, then you park in the middle of the complex and you walk around the stores that you want to go into. I just feel like it's a lot more particular, you know. And then if you can't do that, then yeah, then you shop for it online. There's something about like the easiest way to do it. The easiest way possible, people are going to do that versus. The time thing. It does, the thought of it, the thought of it is great when you're in high school. It's like the thought of like, and I think that's what you're, maybe everybody's chasing. It's like, well, you know what? When I was in high school, it was great to just walk around the the mall with all my friends and kind of just hang out and bullshit and shop. It's like, well, it's hard to do that now, you know? Mm -hmm. I think either way though, like it's still great to be able to support local businesses. For sure. And be able to participate in that. Like, you know, we got to support our own community. Well, if we're going local, then it's like we just need to stay downtown. Mm-hmm. While we were in Austin, we also went to this uh, this cool little barbecue place, right? Yeah, that was super nice. That, that was um, pretty delicious. And I feel like the concept was uh, unique and effective at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of noticing that, too. A lot of the restaurants had, like, the same kind of... Uh, feel, where it's, like, flow. on the go. Like, keep the line going, keep the line going. Yeah, well, like, you get in line... To order your food. But it's almost like cafeteria style where, like, right. you're in school. <laughs> yeah, you get in line, you order your food, and then you sit down. But you've already paid for your food. Like, you get in line, you get your food, cafeteria, cafeteria style. You pay for it, and then you sit down. You eat it. But then it's like usually, like, clean up after yourself. And then leave whenever you're done. Mm-hmm. Which, it kind of makes sense for the flow. Because there was a lot more people out there, for sure. Yeah, Austin was um, Austin was a good time. It was definitely a good vibe. Everybody's super friendly. That, that's one thing that I was just really surprised about was just how friendly everybody is. Yeah, people weren't really hesitating to, like, talk to us. Yeah. Like, I had a jiu-jitsu shirt on, and that guy was like, oh, like, what Colorado gym do you train at? He was just like, oh, you from Colorado? He was like, yeah, from... You know, Aurora or whatever he said. So it's kind of cool. Like, people are willing to have the conversation with you. It's it's not really like that here. People definitely keep to themselves a lot more. 
but at the same time when we were there, it was kind of a younger crowd. Like it felt like a college town. Mm-hmm. I think that's usually what they describe it as, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, I think they describe Austin as college, like the like college, the vibes. college town or something. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was it was kind of cool. Very interesting. We saw the Lambo there, which <laughs> is always nice. Yeah, like super cool cars. And then after that, we just kind of went down to Houston. That was pretty cool. That was a fun. Yeah, Houston time. was cool. And the drive honestly wasn't that bad. I don't know why, but the drive didn't feel that bad. Yeah. I like driving to Colorado Springs. That it's I long. dread that. Yeah, I'm like it's long that road. That fucking seems horrible. It's like a whole day, but for I don't know why. I, maybe it's because we we're on travel mode. Just maybe <laughs> autopilot, just trying to get it done. I don't right. know. It really didn't seem that bad. Yeah. So we went through uh, Houston. Checked out a comedy show out there. That was pretty cool. That pretty was really fun. cool. Yeah, we went to the improv. Yeah. I like doing stuff like that. We should do more stuff like that. I think there's actually a uh, comedy show coming in town. I would love to do that. Yeah. Um, And then after that, we went to actually Baytown. Um, Ooh. Because it was like closer to our apartment. Well, actually, uh, well, we went to the club. Our airport. Oh, yeah. The clubs are out there. Our Pretty lit. <laughs> it was popping. This is before it we was went to It was popping. Yeah. My lipstick is popping. <laughs> is that what it says? Does it say my lip gloss? My lip gloss. My lip gloss is popping. Um, yeah, that was pretty fun. Well, we, we got the tip from the Uber driver. <laughs> he told us where to go. Oh, right. He's like, what are you guys trying to do? What are you guys trying to do? He's like, you guys should go to like, 77 degrees. What do you recommend? Is that what it's 77 degrees? Club yeah. 77 or I don't know, something like that. Well, in that area, either way, it just kind of like brought us to like a bunch of clubs and it was just pretty popping. Mm-hmm. There, there was like, uh, one moment there was like, uh, what do you call it? Like a, a, cap- bull, a bull, bull riding machine. <laughs> that was cool. A bull riding machine. It was like had, a hookah. It was a hookah bar and they had like a bubble machine like for the dance floor, which was kind of cool. It was pretty wild. Mm-hmm. And you could see the skyline bunch of like a uh, ceiling or i mean a, a bunch of rooftop clubs it was fun yeah it was pretty I, fun i liked it but then we started heading down to baytown and i feel like at that moment <laughs> that's when i realized at least that we are nowhere near the mountains and <sighs> it is all ocean yeah there's something about like Watching the mount, like if you look at the mountains, right? You get a good view of the mountains. It's beautiful. It's stunning. It doesn't scare me. Yeah, you almost feel like the sense of safeness, like peaceful. You know, yeah. it's like, oh, look at the mountains. So beautiful. But then, like, <laughs> we get the view of the ocean. Maybe it's because I'm not from there. Maybe. <laughs> but we get the view of the ocean. I look at it, and it, it genuinely scares me to my core. <laughs> it's something about it that just it it makes me like it freaks me out. It is. It is scary. I think because they could actually do something. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's big li- for for us I feel like what it was is when we saw those houses on the stilts. Oh. They were like probably I don't even know how many feet off of the ground they, but they had to be two three stories off the ground. I would say at least two stories, but I I would say more like three stories off the ground. Yeah, I would pro. Yeah, okay, yeah, makes sense. It just didn't Definitely. make sense. It looks so weird to see houses up on stilts. So that, weird. That was just like on a piece, a little like chunk of land, right next that to the was water. Like, yeah, it was like ocean, ocean, and then the little piece of uh, just a little plot of, of land. land was just. It was like an island, pretty much. Oh my god, that's so wild! It's so wild. <laughs> but but then cool. as we started, like, like you know, cruising, driving through town. And at that point, we're, like, actually heading towards the, it's, like, some pier that's there in Baytown. Oh, I forgot what it's called, but. It was, like, shore something. Mm. Shore side or something. And so on our way over there, like, you can just tell that the ocean is so high up that it can just easily just go over the roads. But it does feel kind of <laughs> sketchy. It feels like if there's a lot, yeah, like if the water, I don't know, if there's like a lot of rain or something, or if there's, yeah, a little tiny hurricane, it's pretty scary just the thought about it. It's so close to the water. So close to the water. Yeah. Ugh. Yep. So 
it's scary to see the ocean, but yet beautiful. But that was the first time I've seen <laughs> a, a shrimp boat. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. While we were eating seafood, <laughs> it's so crazy. Fresh food. That's so wild. That is cool, dude. Like, I, I like seafood, so it, it's nice to have something that feels like it's that fresh. Right. It is kind of cool to think of that, I guess. Perspective. Yeah. Still scary. <laughs> That was pretty much it. Then we flew out of there. But yeah, I don't know. It was just pretty crazy. Texas was a pretty good experience overall. I loved it. Yeah, I had a good time. Definitely going to have to go back. We still need to... I, w- I still want to see other places, though. I want to go see Nashville. We drove through there when I got the truck. It seemed really nice. Uh, Nashville and uh, St. Louis. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I definitely want to go back there. Yeah. Oh, I definitely, like, I feel like there's, like, a lot of, like, places still in the U.S. that we have to, like, check out. For sure. And just, like, you know, just, just tour ourselves, yeah. you know? Well, Nashville is supposed to have, like, a really big music scene. Hmm. So that'd be kind of cool. Go out there just to see some music. Um. <laughs> so. I had this thought. <clears throat> I feel like, um. It feels like a lot of people think that we have a lot of problems, or like they think they have problems or issues, like they're struggling, or like for my job example, you know, I feel like it sucks because there's a lot of times where I catch myself and I'm like, fuck, like I hate my job, my job sucks, or whatever it is, I feel like that probably could be the problem. I don't think it's the job doesn't suck. Like my job really isn't bad. It's a pretty good job, honestly. Mm-hmm. I feel like what sucks about it is the way that I feel about my job or the way that I think ab- about my job. It's like and that's what sucks. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I feel like there's different different, you know, feelings and different thoughts kind of that goes into that. Um but I think it's just, like, personally, like, for me, like, like, for those of you that don't know, I mean, we still have, like, full-time jobs as we're doing <clears throat> our podcast. And, you know, it's just, it's just, like, that transition from converting over and realizing what you really want. But yeah, chasing, like, what you would rather do. And spend your time mm-hmm. towards. Yeah, and enjoy it. Yeah, I don't know. I've just been really thinking about that. It's not like, or even like when we when I talk about Colorado, it's like, yeah, I want to leave. But it's like, it's not that. Colorado sucks. Colorado's amazing. It's beautiful. It's beautiful here. I like the culture. We have good Mexican food. There's so much thing. Like, the what views, it, the when mountains, it comes to like, the yeah, weather. When it comes to outdoor stuff, there's so much to do. You can do so much stuff. Mm-hmm. Anywhere. Any town. I love that. What sucks is the way that I think about it. You know what I mean? I feel like I, I feel take like it. I take it for granted. Yeah, and, and it's only because like that's just something that we're so used to. Right. And I I understand that, and that's what makes me really want to come back. You know. I was just thinking about that all. You know, it feels like, or or when I'm, I feel like I'm stressed, or it's like. Feels like we're not doing enough or whatever the case is. It's like really. It's like I have like a freaking. It's like I'm I'm totally guilty of this, but I, I have like a. An eight hundred dollar phone in my pocket. It's like I don't have any problems. That's not. Like we're so fortunate. We're so fortunate. It's almost weird to like complain about little things. Mhm. Like I shouldn't be complaining about my job. It's not a bad job. But is it guaranteed is the question. Yeah. There's not a lot of things that are guaranteed. Right. T- tomorrow's not guaranteed. Exactly. So it's like that kind of comes just down to really like anything could be kind of like a risk if you think about it. For sure. I feel like for us, that's actually one of the reasons why we started the podcast was because... 
COVID had happened. Yeah. And I think at that moment, it was just a lot of uncertainty with a lot of things. I think with everybody, even businesses. Mm -hmm. Like, I think at that moment when you realize that everybody is freaking out, you're like, okay, what is going on? It was pretty weird. <laughs> Definitely was really weird. Weird times. Still is, kind of. It still is, kind of, yeah. Yeah. I feel like we're trying to get back to normal, which is making me happy because, you know, it was like depressing times, I feel like. I feel like everybody was just, it was a tough time. I know. It was really, like, when I went to Cali with, with Henry and we went down to Venice Beach, <coughs> and you go down the boardwalk and everything was boarded up. Oh, what? It's pretty wild. It just like it, nothing was open. No. Oh, because of COVID. Yeah. What? Yeah, it was like closed. It was kind of creepy. Wow. And it's just wild to think that all that can happen so fast. Right. Unexpectedly. Yeah. It's like whatever circumstance you, that you might be in. Yeah. Everything can shut down, or everything can. So crazy, man. Whatever the case might be. It is really wild. But I feel like, I think at that moment, that's when it just really hit us. And we're like, okay, you know what? At the end of the day, we always have to look out for ourselves. Yeah. You got to do whatever you need to do to, like, survive? Yeah. <laughs> Survival yeah. skills here is shit. <laughs> yeah, basically, man. That's what it was. For some reason, we started buying big-ass bags of rice. <laughs> Like, what, the <laughs> what the hell was up with the whole freaking toilet paper thing, by the way? Like, come on. Just everybody had a shit. <laughs> he was worried about not being able to wipe their ass. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's super weird. I don't understand that. It's just like, people are just crazy, man. People are just crazy. Yeah, definitely things. Like, it's kind of just crazy to see how mentally everybody can be affected in a different way. It's scary. No, really, it, it's it's kind of scary. I'm like, are you trying to get all creepy because it's getting ready to be Halloween? I know. Right? <laughs> Do you know what that also means? It's our anniversary. I know. It's pretty crazy. So wild. Is that nine years? Holy shit. Yep. But I feel like that's just another thing. It's just It just goes by so fast in it a does. way. It does, huh? <clears throat> like yeah it doesn't feel like nine years huh no would you, would you say it feels like nine years mm. i mean if you really think about it i know like if you really think about all every single <laughs> second all that then time. maybe but they're all great <laughs> i think <Yeah>. that's why <laughs> so crazy man <laughs> nine years um what are we gonna be for halloween i have no idea we need I'm excited for Halloween, you guys. I feel like I love Halloween. That's when it starts getting all like into the holidays, like fall. Fall the start the the leaves start falling. It's not as hot. Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. It's not as hot and it's not cold as balls yet. I feel. But what's the thing though with a lot of people just being angry when people start mentioning or start seeing things like at Walmart? Oh. Well, it's because they like, do it like <laughs> I know they six they do sometimes ahead. over over exaggerate. Like Spirit, the Halloween store, they were open like a while ago. Since when? They've been open at the mall. I <laughs> guess I haven't been to the mall in a where while. The, uh, Jeez. Where the uh, at home place was? That's where it is. Oh, it's been oh, there. Remember yeah, yeah. before we even left? Dang. It wasn't even October yet. It was still like the beginning of September. And that's when you should actually be going in, because that's when you're going to get find some really good costumes, know, I'm sure. Right? That's when you can actually find your size. <laughs> <laughs> Versus last minute on Halloween. Where you're like wearing the like the... October 31st. We were wearing like a youth medium Harry Potter <laughs> costume. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love Halloween, man. Wow. It is pretty crazy that it's already another year, though. I feel like COVID kind of made a good blur... I know. It's like, two what years. did we do? Nothing. Feels like two years. <laughs> is it two years? Or is it one year? Oh. One full last year? Year and a half? No, two years, I think. How long is it I don't been? even know. 
It's all a blur. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> it's pretty scary. I'm ready to get out of it, though. It seems like it's almost over. I feel like I've been saying that. I just have hope. That's the only way to be. <sighs> all right. Good times. Well, I think that's a wrap. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. If anything, nice. I hope you guys liked our story about Texas. <laughs> <laughs> this was just a little storytelling and kind of letting you guys know that we were just sick. Um, and we feel way better now. I know. Yeah, I do. I do feel great. And I feel like it's every time I get sick, it makes me feel like I take it for granted when I'm not sick. <laughs> You know? Right. So. But it is kind of scary, though, at times, because, you know, you really just don't know what it could be like or how bad it can be, because sometimes it can be where you just start out normal, and then the next thing you know, you know, it's more than normal. Yeah. Like, last year I got strep. That was the first time I've ever gotten strep. But... It's right in the middle of COVID, so it's like, ah, oh, do I have COVID? Right. I don't even know, because I've never had strep. Mm. Yeah. Well, either way, like, everybody just needs to be safe. Stay positive. Wash your hands. Travel. Have fun. Shh, enjoy enjoy life. life. Exactly. Don't stop. take life too serious. And please, stop buying your family members T-shirts <laughs> or friends. <laughs> If they didn't go on you with the trip, <laughs> I don't want a t-shirt unless it's I'm the there. It's the thought that counts. You know what? Remember that. Then send me a text. Be like, hey, man, just thinking about you. Also, I'm in New York and you're not. <laughs> oh like, that's gosh. cool, you know? Like, that's, that's I think it's funny. All right, you guys. Well, I think that is a wrap. Thank you for sticking around and listening to our little storytelling shenanigans <laughs> our little storytelling about how texas went and it was so much fun yeah so if you guys haven't already done it i hope you guys like and subscribe and follow share do all the good stuff hit that little bell make sure you guys get notifications every time we drop a new podcast like this one so like always go check out our sponsors we'll leave the links in the bio down below uh, that helps us out tremendously. They are the reasons why we make this happen. <sighs> Peace out, amigos. Have a great rest of the week. Stay safe. Stay positive. Work hard. Save your money. And achieve your goals. Be smart. Don't be dumb. Have a plan. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Bye, amigos. Have a good night.